guys. <sighs> Welcome back. This is Chair Dancing with BJ. I'm BJ and I am here today on the K Darlings YouTube channel. Um, I have not eaten yet. I am going to be <laughs> shocking. I'm going to be making kimchi ramen later and I have a sushi roll as well and I haven't eaten yet. Um, but to celebrate the Japanese J-Rock uh, songs that I'm reacting to, I brought my sake in. I may regret this later, but I don't know how many that is. And it never hits me right away. It'll hit me later. And it's going to hit me hard. <laughs> so I better eat a lot of ramen to soak up the sake. So anyway, hi guys. I'm here to do another reaction for you. And this is a request. Uh, and I'm very excited about this request because I recently just discovered this group and I have fallen hard and it has taken everything I have not to go in and listen to everything that they've ever done because I love this. This is how much I'm enjoying them. So um, it is a J-Rock group. My dog hears me talking out there and he's going a little crazy right now. So just ignore him. Um, my first story. Um, I, I, yeah, like... I was immediately impressed. And Hiro, hello. He's cutie patootie. I don't know how old he is. I might have to look that up because I feel a little cougarish right now and, and, and I probably shouldn't be. Um, he's probably way too young, but I don't care. He's incredibly cute. Um, anyway, my first story, I'm gonna be reacting to Reviver. Um, just as a refresher for those of you who are not familiar with my first story, they are a J-Rock group, which right now, J-Rock, as we all know, is like my number one thing right now. Loving J-Rock. Now, this does not diminish Q-Pop or K-Pop or K-Rock or anything because they're all, put them together, a very close second to J-Rock. I love, you know me, I love all music. I do not, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't judge. Hmm. Okay, my first story. Hmm, let's see here. It's a Japanese rock band from Shib Shibuya, Tokyo. Formed in 2011. Uh, the band currently consists of vocalists Hiroki Moriuchi. Again, I'm learning Japanese, guys, and I'm not, I, I'm really working hard on pronunciation, but I know I'm failing miserably, but I am trying. I'm, I, I'm practicing every day. Um, Teruki Nishizawa, bassist uh, Nobuaki, could, could, oh, hold on, I got this, Katao, and drummer, sh, hold on, I got this, I got this. Shohei Sasaki. I gotta be close. I have to be close. Um, okay, so that's it. And they do. They're, it's alternative rock, post-hardcore alternative rock. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited. I love these guys so, so much. I, I love their sound so far. So I don't know. I don't think I've heard this song. I, Maybe I've heard it in the background when I've been listening to like random playlists on my YouTube uh, music playlist, but I don't think, I don't think I have, but let's go find out. So my first story, Reviver, I think that sake is kicking in. I'm out of soju, so hence the sake has come in. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely going to need to eat some ramen after this and some sushi roll. Okay. Let's do this. I do not think there are English subs on this, which is fine. I don't care. I'm okay with it. It just helps me focus on the music and, and the boys more, their, their prettiness. All right, let's do this. My first story, Reviver, in three, two, one, play. Oh. Again, starting right off. Oh, yes. I haven't heard this. Oh. Mm. 
His voice makes me want to cry. Oh, that was cool. It all disappeared. Oh, that growl. Y'all, I'm not even joking right now. Not even. Not even joking. <sighs> Hero's voice makes me want to cry. And I mean that in a good way. I, oh, I don't know what it is. Oh, I don't know what it is. I really don't. Um, something else started playing. <laughs> Um, wow. Okay, so the video itself, I really liked. It was very simple. It had like this, this almost like just a stage presence, almost like they were on stage performing. Um, at one point they like disappeared. That was really cool. Uh, but a lot of it, and again, I think I've, I've discussed this before. I really like it sometimes when they do these types of videos and not just my first story, anybody, when they do it where it's just literally a performance. I've, I've seen it when, when Scandal 
has done it, band made has done it, um, where it's literally just almost like they're just giving a regular performance. They're just performing. They're not really doing anything out of the ordinary. The only thing that they really did out of the ordinary was that whole scene where I think it was, I, I think it was Hiro um, who fell in the water. That was really cool. By the way, are those, is those it, it's hard to see because I haven't been able to see, but he had tattoos right here. Are those real? They probably are. Um, I love tattoos. I love a guy with tattoos. I'm a tattoo girl. Can't you tell? I got a lot more planned, actually, by the way. Um, anyway, I digress. Um, so the video itself was very cool. It kind of had like a black and white feel to it a little bit. Um, but I liked it. And the song, oh my God, it started off just hard and it just never gave. It just never gave up through the whole thing. It just drove all the way through. I wanted to get up and move, but I'm wearing sweatpants right now. So you guys aren't going to see that. Um, you know, he's kind of cute. He's very cute. He's very cute. You know, you're very cute. Add this to the list. I mean, there's basically, there was two groups, but there's really three groups, three groups that, uh, J-Rock groups that I would really, really, really like to see. But I don't know that I'll ever really get, I mean, I, I've already seen one here in the US. Um, I would love to see official Hige Dandism someday, but apparently they don't travel outside of Japan. So I'll have to go to Japan to see them. My first story, I don't know when I'll ever get to see them. Hopefully, does anybody know, do they ever come to the US? Do they ever, do they ever come here to tour? Please tell me. Comments, comments, please tell me. If not, I'm adding them to my bucket list of, of groups to see in Japan. I do, I honestly do plan to go to Japan one day. Um, I want to go to Japan so bad, you guys, and just, so here's the thing. So um, her name is Mindy, and she went to high school with my eldest daughter, and she actually lives and works in Japan. I'm a little jealous. I'm a little jealous of a 24 year old girl. I really am. Um, and she, she, I, I, I follow her on Instagram. She'll probably, she probably won't see this. She doesn't follow me back, but, um, I kind of get jealous. I, I look at all of her stuff of all the little vacations that her and her boyfriend take and all of the restaurants and stuff she goes to and all the desserts and everything that she, she eats at these little bakeries and stuff. I'm so jealous. Like I, I'm like, not even joking, you guys. I am living vicariously through a 24-year-old woman who lives in Japan who I literally had over for sleepovers when she was little. So I'm a little jealous. I'm a little bit jealous right now. Um, so yeah, I would love to, to go to Japan. And again, you guys know uh, at this point that I am trying to learn Japanese. I'm not very good at it yet. I'm not even remote. I'm not even going to say that I'm even remotely... Uh, have got basics figured out because I don't. I'm still working on on pronunciation, as you could tell as I was going through their names. Um, but anyway, that's it. My first story. I'm becoming more and more obsessed. Uh, probably the next time I react to these guys, I will know exactly who is who and I will have the names down because, um, yeah, and there will be, uh, I need a poster. Who wants to send me a poster? I need to start filling up these walls. See all this blank space? We need, we need to fill it up. We need to fill it up. I need a My First Story poster. Seriously. I need to add one. And if not, I'm just going to print one out and I'm just going to hang that puppy up wherever I want. It's my office. I can do whatever I want. All right. That's it. My First Story. I'm going to give that bad boy six thumbs up, but I only have two. So I'll do this and just multiply it by three. So yeah, that was great. This song, seriously, I'm not even joking, is getting added to every playlist. Uh, I have, I now have a favorite Japanese playlist and it's not just J-Rock either. I have a whole bunch of, uh, of soloists that I'm following now as well. So thanks to you guys. Thanks. My list keeps growing. Um, but that's it for now. That's all I got. So until next week or until next time, thank you very much for stopping by. Um, and for those of you, I am learning. Here we go. Arigato. So thank you very much, guys. 
um, I better put the sake away and start eating. So anyway, that's it. That's all I got. Until next time, thanks for stopping by. Bye.